The Ministry of Trade and Investment hosted its inaugural stakeholder dialogue on trade facilitation at the National Academy for the Performing Arts on Thursday. The session is one in a series of projects aimed at strengthening the single, the single electronic window for trade and business facilitation. The ultimate goal, improved trade and commerce. Dion Batiste has more in this report. The single electronic window is yet another step towards public sector transformation and improved service delivery through informed consultation and effective implementation. So says Program Director Gainel Braffitt. But what is the single electronic window? is an IT-based platform that is created and designed to simplify and optimize trade and business facilitation in Trinidad and Tobago. Basically, what it's designed to do is reduce time, cost and effort spent uh, in transactions related to trade and business. Minister of Trade and Industry Paula Gopi Schoon was noticeably absent at the stakeholders' dialogue. Speaking in her stead, Permanent Secretary Norris Herbert said in keeping with its commitment to strengthen the single electronic window for trade and business facilitation, government has entered into a five-year loan agreement with the Inter-American Development Bank. This it is hoped this program, aptly called TT BizLink, will improve Trinidad and Tobago's trade performance and enhance its business competitiveness. Ensures completeness of all applications, avoids human intervention and the strict application of existing guidelines and procedures, whilst also minimizing manual inconsistencies especially through the use of discretion, reducing processing time. Mr. Herbert said the ministry is determined to surpass its recorded 1 million transactions and expand its 8,000 strong client base, all while extending the already wide range of available e-services. The TT BizLink is already an established world-class solution to meeting international standards. Its expansion through this project will enhance its capabilities by further reducing time and costs associated with business transactions and positively impacting overall business competitiveness. Customs and Trade Facilitation Specialist Ian Hogg said after consultation with a wide cross-section of stakeholders, 41 recommendations were pinpointed. Uh, some of the, the common ones are, are basic things like uh, the, the government working hours, you know, from 8 to 4. That seems to be a, quite a sticky, a sticky point. Um, there are also things like um, the permits to remove, which is also an issue, um, because mainly to do with the paperwork that's involved. So that's another thing. Uh, there are other things, things like, um, you know, the whole years, they, 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 they don't like the, the traffic. <laughs> There's things like the traffic where, the you know, the, the, the rights and road, they want to, want to be able to enter the east gate instead of the west gate. Mr. Hogg said some of the issues are easily addressed using the TT BizLink. However, others would require cabinet approval and in some instances, changes to existing laws. Dion Batiste, C News.